What's going on guys? Chad here with the Unnursery Miles and More channel. This is your channel for all things DJI, FPV, and models. I try to upload daily, so please consider subscribing. Leave your comments, questions, critiques, answers, all that below so we can all enjoy each other's company. So let's get to today's big topic and video. We have a firmware release for the Mavic Pro and the DJI goggles. I'm gonna go ahead and read you the change log. This is firmware version 1.03.0800. And for full compatibility, you need to be running the newest version of DJI Go, which is 4.1.0. So what's new? Well, here we go again. Updated no-fly zone management. Some people are going crazy about it. I really don't care. I just want to get up in the air as fast as possible with or without a token or whatever. So if you've seen my videos, sometimes I get asked and sometimes I don't. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Um, for increased safety, flight is restricted to a height of 30 meters and a distance of 50 meters when not connected or logged into the app during flight, including DJI Go 4 and all apps compatible with DJI aircraft. Um, the not connected or logged in part is kind of weird because I'm always logged in, I'm pretty sure. But what if we're out in the field and we don't have Wi-Fi or a cellular data connection? Is that going to restrict us? I don't know. We're going to have to test that. Um, Added gimbal control in fixed wing mode. This is gonna be interesting. I love fixed wing mode, especially with the goggles. So it, uh, we'll see how useful that actually is. Um, going into a dive and turning your gimbal down even more so you can't see your dive. I don't know, we'll see how it works. Optimized color shading in for improved footage quality, cool. Fixed minor drift issue and portrait, whatever. Firmware, also an update for DJI goggles. And the number one thing, added value adjustment gain for head tracking. Yes, this is what we needed. Because right now, those goggles, and that is so sensitive. Hopefully that really makes a big difference. Added screen cut function for two fingers. I don't know what that is. Added support for micro SD card hot plug and unplug. Um, evidently, there was an issue with that when you have your goggles on and you pull a card in and out. And reduced HDMI input latency. So that's always a good thing. So anyway, everybody pretty much knows how to do a firmware update, but I'm gonna just go ahead and go through all of this real quick for everybody just to make sure first thing you want to do is make sure your batteries are all charged you have everything set up and ready to go i'm going to change the camera angle here All right, so we got app, Mavic, controller down here. I'm gonna turn the controller on first. Gonna launch the Go4 app. Uh, it tells us here that after the latest firmware update, your flight at the altitude will be limited without first connecting to a DJI compatible app and logging into your account. If you're not satisfied with the update, you can revert to older firmware using DJI Assistant 2. This is all complicated, it's stupid. So it sounds like they want you to comply, but then they say if you don't wanna comply, you can always go back. I don't really get that. I'm just gonna click on Agree. And we'll turn on the Mavic. and they should connect up here and it should go through the whole latest firmware thing firmware update is available 
Uh, no fly zone database on your aircraft requires update. Update now. So I'm going to click on update now. Um, actually, I'm going to go back and update the firmware first and then come back and upload the no fly zone uh, update because I ran into a problem with that before. So anyway, this is going to download and take 10, 15 minutes to do. So we'll get it all up and running and we'll come back and check it out and do the goggles. All right, so we've got the DJI goggles here and they are powered on and plugged into the laptop running the DJI Assistant 2 software. And the goggle firmware basically is the same version types of the Mavic firmware. So I don't really understand how it works or whatever. It has the same release notes and everything. But anyway, you just plug it in and it comes up VR for Mavic. You click on that. And I'm gonna click on upgrade. And I'm gonna click start the update. And I wanna make sure that my version on here is the same as the version on the firmware that I'm uploading, which is 1.03.08. So everything is just downloading here on the Assistant 2. And then it should upload the new firmware to the goggles. So got the Maverick running here, goggles running here. And we'll come back to all this here when it's all done and, and ready to go. All right, guys, uh, everything went good here. Update complete on the goggles and update complete on the Mavic. So let's uh, point the camera down here. And reposition things a little bit better for everybody. As you can see, it says OK. So let's press OK. And of course, always want to restart everything. Force close the app. Turn the remote back on. Turn on the Go app. Turn on the Mavic. Getting the notice again. So I'm going to click on agree. Latest version of firmware is detected. No fly zone database on your aircraft requires update. Update now. Update now. Download now. This update enhances DJI's geofence system in certain regions. Update complete. That was fast. Okay. All right. Let's uh, go to my account. I'm already signed in. Let's uh, go into the app. And I am getting cannot take off in a no fly zone, which isn't that surprising. Go through here and check everything. Of course, firmware updates, everything gets turned off. Multiple flight modes is turned off. Your return to home stuff is turned off. Distances. Go to advanced settings here. I want to check out my IMU and gyroscope. I'm not going to calibrate my IMU because I'm running 0 .006. Uh, you want to be as close to 0 .000 as you can. So that looks good to me. Compass, not too bad for being inside. Expos are still there. Return to home. Is still there for remote loss. Uh, 
I've got everything still set up down here. That all looks good. Um, units are all good. Geosystem is turned on. All right. Goggles update complete. So I guess all I have to do with the goggles is just unplug them. They're already on. I am going to power the goggles on and off. Turning the goggles back on. Maybe you guys want to see me with my goggles on here. That all looks the same. Now oh, let's go into the menu here and see what happens. I don't see. All right, so there is a new setting that says head tracking sensitivity. So I'm going to scroll that down. So it's got head tracking gimbal and head tracking flight. I'm going to move the head tracking gimbal sensitivity all the way down. All right, so we know our goggles are good. All right, so as you can see, and the lights in the way there, cannot take off in a warning zone. So let me pull the sticks down and back to take off. Authorized errors. It's detecting my municipal airport. Confirm, confirm. Confirm, unlocking, unlock success. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Wow, the color does look uh, pretty good. I'm going to turn all my settings, make sure all my settings are the same. Well, it did change my style settings. So while this is playing out, I just wanted to say that took the Mavic for a test spin. Everything is just fine. I had no problems with the update. Everything seemed to be working good through the rest of that battery. Going to do more testing. The gimbal sensitivity was actually too slow now, so I'm going to have to work on finding a good happy medium for that. Also, I want to test out that gimbal fixed wing mode deal. So I've got everything on the charger. I'm going to go back out tonight, probably after I mow some grass. A lot of big clouds up there, so there should be some pretty cool sunset. And we'll go ahead and test those features out and capture some video for you guys. So I hope this was helpful. Hopefully it'll help out a lot of you new guys too, just because you might not have been through a firmware update yet. And it's important, the biggest takeaway from a firmware update is to remember to check your IMU values, your and all of your action features like your return to home, altitude, your multiple flight modes, everything like that. Because sometimes that stuff gets reset as you saw in my video and sometimes it does not. So don't forget to do all that. Enjoy the picture of my beautiful face there. We'll see you guys on the next video.